Hello everybody, welcome back. For those of you who are returning and for those of you who are new, welcome. Today I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be starting a Claro tutorial series where I'm going to outline each of Claro's songs. Maybe I'll do them all. Wow, that would be a lot. But I'm definitely going to go from beginner to advanced. So if you are a beginner guitar player, learning each of these Claro songs will actually help you and you're learning Claro songs. So it's a win-win. It's really a win-win. Um, I've done some Phoebe Bridgers tutorials that have gotten some good feedback and good interaction. So if you're interested in those, check those out as well. Those are a bit more of the on the advanced side. Um, and these will be, you know, kind of more beginner, but also like they're, they're fun to play even if you are intermediate or advanced. Like why not learn more stuff? So without further ado, we are going to be starting off with Heaven, which is in my opinion, Claro's easiest song to play on the guitar. It's only two chords and they're not difficult either. And they sound really nice. So if you're a beginner, you know, grab your guitar, you know, or pause and go grab it if it's not within reach. Um, and let's get let's get into it. So we have the first chord of heaven, and it is the D minor seven. So what you're gonna do if you're a beginner, um, I would recommend just using two fingers, play the highest two strings here, and then um, put your ring finger on the second fret of the third string. But if you're intermediate or advanced, you know that you can just bar these two strings and then play it this way. Same chord, but just different ways of playing it based on your uh, skill set or um, experience. So that's the first chord. And then the second chord is a C major seven. So we have D minor and C major. Um, and so that is basically a C chord, if you know it, minus the ring finger. Um, so you just have the third fret of the second string from the top or the, the lower pitch. And then the second fret, uh, the third string. So, so. So it basically, the song, it just goes back and forth between these two chords. Uh, one with higher pitch, which is the D minor seven. And when you play it, try to strum just the, you know, more bottom strings because it's a higher chord, higher pitch chord, so. And then, you know, C major seven, try to strum the lower strings, which ironically are at the top, but. So there you go. Those are the two chords for the song. So the strumming pattern I will go over as I play, but really I would recommend trying to pick it up by ear. That's how I started learning um, most strumming patterns. And it's very effective if you want to then just, if you hear a song and you're like, oh, I wanna learn how to play that. And you figure out the chords, then you can just implement the strumming pattern by ear. It's a really good uh, training technique for beginners or intermediate if you don't usually pick up on strumming patterns. But I will go over it here for those of you who uh, just want to have a better sense of what I'm playing. Um, so it goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, repeats like that throughout the whole song so that is the intro as well just alternating D minor 7 to C major 7 and then uh, for the verse as well um, in the way that it alternates I'll go over the first verse just so you get a better sense and also I do have a cover of heaven if you want to check out the full song how I play it all the way through that's another good way to learn songs by you know, listening, especially when you can see, you can watch me switching between chords. That's a, that's a good thing as well. Um, but I'll just go over the first verse so you get a better sense. So it goes. C major 
7. D minor 7, you're just a D minor hard on yourself and you laugh it just melts in my C major seven hands Lonesome D minor seven streets the say the mice will seem to laugh at me C major seven carried away there but it's such a nice song to play um, and as you understand the chords more and the way that they sound you'll be able to play it easier because you'll know when the switches are um, which is pretty consistent throughout the whole song such a beautiful song such a great beginner song there's only two chords not too difficult to play you know you can use basically two fingers for each of them um, but for the intermediate people I do have a slight addition. You might have seen me play this a couple times as I was testing it out. It was hard not to because it's it's just a nice addition. But when you go to play the C major seven, the um, you can add in the index finger to make it a C chord. Um, sometimes as you play, you hammer it on. So, uh, for example, like for the last time. See how I'm hammering it on um, occasionally to get like the rhythm of it and make it, you know, a little bit more jazzy. So, like, give it a try. So, if you have the song down pretty set, instead of just playing the, you can play the. That's just a, another addition to make it sound a little bit better. Um, if you want to add on, go for it, do it, learn more, you know, um, push yourself. <laughs> um, so this is the first tutorial, super easy. Like, I feel like it was super fast. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, subscribe because you'll be notified when we release the next tutorial. Um, and these tutorials are gonna, progress slightly in complexity as we go so that way you'll learn more but they'll progress slowly because most of her songs aren't super difficult um so it'll be a fun time and you should stay tuned so that's why you should subscribe and, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss a lesson they're easy they're fast lessons and they're claro songs like what more could you want right and you're learning guitar by learning them like good stuff so thanks for tuning in today um let me know your feedback in the comments and you know how your experience was learning this song if you're like surprised yourself by how well you did with it let me know love that um or if you have any just general uh comments uh concerns etc let me know and i will address them uh thanks again for tuning in watching and uh i'll see you soon